from Crystal Rich. Welcome to the huddle. We're joined by Matt Demecki. Matt, what's, what's going on with you? Nothing much, nothing much. Yeah. Ready for football this weekend, though. I'm ready, I'm ready for it. For oh, my gosh, I'm so yeah. excited. February I'll, is an exciting month. I know, All-Star Weekend, too. My birthday, All-Star Weekend, <laughs> Super Bowl. We're just partying it up Let's all do February. It. Okay, so the Portland Trail Blazers, Damian Lillard, is mad at the NBA All-Star voting, claiming that he got snubbed since Alonzo Ball has more votes than him. Lillard still made the Western Conference team, but ranked eighth on the guards list while Lonzo ranked seventh. Now, I did the exact math on how many more oh, votes that go. Lonzo got, and he got 29,668 <laughs> more votes Damn. than Damian Lillard. So, does he have a right to be mad about this? Well, he does, but look, at the same time, it's a fan voting, so he expects this. He knew that this is a fan voting. He knew this is a popularity contest. He still got mad. <laughs> Why is this man is always mad and always bitter about something every every month in the media he comes out and says something that he doesn't like about the NBA he doesn't like about the fans he doesn't like about certain players bro chill this is a popularity contest well I understand. wouldn't you be mad if you weren't popular hell yeah I was mad but at the same time he knows he knows that this is a popularity contest so he's he's basically setting himself up to say something like this okay he shouldn't get mad about okay, this. okay so yes it's a popularity contest but he does have a right to be mad about this I mean he, just in the last 10 games, is statistically better than Lonzo. I mean, uh, no, of I, course. That's why I'm. I, so, I, I mean, if, if, if I was it. putting everything on the court every single night and this little rookie, who he's good, he's good, but this rookie who just saw the limelight is like now, even though it's only one place higher than you, I'd be mad. He is averaging just in the last 10 games 28.3 points per game while he's Lonzo only it. has exactly. 11.2 no, he's, and look he's killing it but I'm just saying that if you're Damian let, let's say I'm Damian Lillard saying that okay I'm averaging 25 a game this year Lonzo is averaging three ice packs on his knee per game <laughs> Lonzo doesn't even play I already know I'm better than Lonzo I don't even think that this all-star voting That's matters why he's to me. mad he knows he's better so he's mad that he's, he's one spot lower. And even though it's one spot, I get that. I know it's fan voting. But, I mean, come on. Like, maybe the yeah. fans need to be more intelligent with their voting, no, not just, they, like, it's, vote for your team. It's a popularity contest. Look, if you looked last week at the Eastern Conference voting for the guards, Isaiah Thomas was number seven. <laughs> he played five games this year. All <laughs> right, right. I mean, right. like, it's all Manu about, Ginobili it, was up there, It's all too. about who's popular. It doesn't matter that he has a better field goal percentage it's, than Lonzo, or it doesn't matter that the Trailblazers have a much better record. Well, they're the eighth seed. I mean, that's cool, but it's not... It's not really great, okay, you know. Okay, but just but, just saying, just throwing that little fact out there. Yeah, no, I I agree with that. I understand that this needs to change. Like this voting system needs to change, but he needs to stop getting mad. Just okay. cool a little bit, well, man. Well, this is what it's he cool. said. He said every year we found a way to be in the postseason, and I think this year we're in a much better position than we have been in the past two seasons. So he feels like he's been working his butt off, and the rookie, aka Lonzo, is getting more of the limelight than he deserves. So the question now becomes, should voting change? Uh, absolutely. Um, I don't know why the fans have 50% of the votes. Um, I'm not understanding about that. I think that the media and the players should get 80% and the fans should get 20%. Okay, so let's just break it down for everyone watching. The fans get 50%. The players yes. get 25% and the media gets, the gets 25% yeah. too. So you think that players should get 80%? 80, players and, then, and the media should get 80%. Nobody gives a damn what Joe from Montana thinks about what Damian Lillard is But that's Lillard's what it's all doing. about. It's about, listen, they don't you, know anything. you can't break tradition. It's it, that's the, I agree that fans need to be better in voting, but you can't break the tradition. I mean, 80%? That's, that's yeah. mind-boggling. All players would do if they had that 80% vote is vote for guys on their own team. They're not going to be like, hey, like um, Lillard is not going to be like, hey, I like Lonzo. No, I think I should I'm, vote for him. Obviously, he's mad about look, it. I'm trusting the people. <laughs> I'm trusting I'm trusting the players that see all these players night in and night out. I'm trusting the media who covers these teams closely. They travel to every road game, every home game that they're there, watching these guys. I'm not gonna trust some casual fan who watches the <laughs> last half of the fourth quarter. Well, yes, they no need way. to be more intelligent with their voting. But if you give all the power to the power to the players, they're just gonna vote for their boys. You know, D Wade, who's he voting for? LeBron. Who's LeBron voting for? D Wade. That's no, how it's it gonna go because they're boys. Like, but it doesn't it's, work it's like that. It's gonna happen like that. But look. 
this whole system's <laughs> flawed. I'm, I'm saying, Damien, he's right. The whole system's flawed. He shouldn't get triggered over every little thing the media or fans say. That's that's my argument against him. He gets a little triggered too easily. You don't break tradition. If you take you it back to. to Christmas, you wouldn't trade an evergreen tree for a cactus. No, but unless you live when, in the desert. When I saw when I saw Isaiah <laughs> Thomas, Manu Ginobili in those fan votings, I lost it. There's no way fans should be taking care of voting. Fans, come on, do a you better job. You all gotta do better. Do a better job. We can at least better. agree on that. Let us know if you are Team K Rich or Keith Team Matt Jamecki down below in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching the fumble. We'll catch you next time.